this is something new that I will be starting on the channel. So it'll be a separate playlist as well. But each month, I'm going to come give you guys a book review of the book that I read for the month. So I'm currently in a life coaching group. And one of our challenges is that we read a book a month. Now, he didn't put specifics on us on the type of book, but clearly if we're all in this group and we're trying to better ourselves, mostly everybody is choosing books that help with development in some case. So entrepreneurship, business, career, personal development, spirituality, relationships, all of those types of things. And it's usually nonfiction books to just share and just help us grow. So I said, you know what? Since I'm getting this knowledge and I'm growing, why not share it with my family, right? So that's what I'm going to start doing. And each month, towards the end of the month, I'll post the video giving you the review. And then I'll also tell you guys what the book is for the next month. So you'll, if you want to read along with me, you can be, you know, you can get the book and read along as well. So this month, February, the book was Soar by Bishop Jakes. And I got the book. It was a last minute decision to read the book because honestly, I wasn't planning on reading it now. I saw a couple of his interviews that he did with different people while he was promoting the book when it came out at the end of 2017. And the interviews were amazing. I actually think I referenced a few of them in one of my past videos. So I will still encourage you to check those videos out if you have not. I will try to link them in the description box. But after watching them and, you know, just going through some of my process with developing the channel and stuff, I said, you know what, I'm going to just read the book and see what it's about. So like I said, the book is geared towards the aspiring entrepreneur, but even if you aren't that person and you are in a place in life where you are trying to achieve something greater than what you have so far, then it still is a good read because it challenges your mind a lot. And one of the quotes that he had in the book, actually, and this is the direct quote, he said, the wings you use to arrive at your present perch may not have the strength, stamina, and span to carry you to where you're going. And that really set home with me because I have, you know, accomplished great things so far, especially from the career standpoint, having gone to pharmacy school and graduated and done that. That was a goal that I set and that was an achievement all in itself. But now as I transition into a new phase of life and there are other things that I want to achieve and accomplish much beyond that. It's going to require more of me. And so I have to remember myself. Yes, I put in a lot of work then, but it's going to take more dedication and more drive and more work to get to the next level. You got to be ready for that. Now, the next one is really kind of more in line with entrepreneurship. And it was what he talked about with accidental inventions. And really what I pulled from that was that if you get an idea, or you, especially if you feel like it's an idea that God gave you to go forward with, go forward with it. Put what you have into it to produce it, but know that there's a possibility that that won't work. So it's not from a standpoint of, you know, we always hear, you know, most startup businesses fail and, you know, all of this kind of stuff. But his thing was, if you try it and it doesn't work, that's fine, but it may lead to the thing that will. So he used the example, um... He used many examples, but I think Coca-Cola was one of them. I'm not even really sure the history behind Coca-Cola myself, but I think they were actually trying to invent or produce something else, and they developed Coca-Cola. Another example that I do know, because I'm a pharmacist, is Viagra. So that medication was not initially developed for what it's used for today. That was what they found as a side effect, <laughs> and it just so happens to be that it's a beneficial one for, you know, men who have issues with that. And so that's what the drug ended up becoming, but that's not what it was initially meant to be for. So go forward, uh, produce, you know, whatever it is that you feel like you should be going into, but know that that may not be the thing. Like he used the term, it may not be the thing, but it will lead to the thing. So just be open-minded through the process, learn the lessons, and, you know, just let God guide you along the way is basically what I took from that. Capitalize on the momentum. So again... He was, of course, speaking about entrepreneurship and really like going with the trends and what's hot and what's, you know, what's flowing right now. And he used the example like if Colonel Sanders wanted to open up a KFC now, just a brand new business, nobody knows, they don't know nothing about KFC. And he wanted to open it now. He was like, likely the business would fail because in today's time, you have so many people who are health conscious. They're trying to do vegan. They're gluten free. They're, you know, washing fat calories and all of these things that they weren't doing back in the day when KFC was first open. And now they would struggle because the health, the foods that they're offering aren't health conscious like what everybody's on right now, you know? So he kind of just used that as an example. 
let the trends and the flow of things benefit you instead of trying to go against it. He also used an example with travel, which is crazy because I never thought about it until I read this, that when you're flying with the jet streams, you end up getting to your destination faster than if you were flying against it. So for the U.S. continental, when you're going from west to east, you're flying with the jet winds and you always get there faster. But when I'm going out west from the east, it takes longer, like maybe 30 minutes. It's not super long, but from, from here to Vegas, you're talking about a four hour flight. But then when we come back home from Vegas, now it's like three and a half. And I never really thought about it, but it, that's true. And he's like, when you are going with the jet stream and with the wind, it takes less power. And so you can kind of go faster and, you know, be coasted along versus going against it, taking more effort and more power and it's slowing you down. I was like, oh, okay. Don't underestimate the gravitational pull. So this was one of those things, like as you start, you really believe that you got something going here good, especially if you believe it was a vision that God gave you and you're going into producing it and, you know, putting the work in, don't underestimate the pool to come back down to where you were, whether it just be life in general, you know, maybe past ideas and thought processes that you've had in the past that may be creeping in and hindering you, you know, relationships with certain people who may not agree or understand. Like, don't underestimate that there's going to be a gravitational pull that is wanting to bring you back down to where you were. And that's just life in general. That's just the laws of physics. Like, when it goes up, it's going to come back down, or at least it's going to try to. So, you again, you have to put more work and effort into getting up and then staying up. Don't be afraid to reinvent yourself. Now, depending on the case, especially for a lot of people... They may go into a career field and then at some point in life, they change their mind. They want to switch gears. They want to do something different. And he was basically saying, don't be afraid to reinvent yourself because it's possible that the first thing that you did was a needed process for you to develop the skills that will make you excel in the second thing or the third for that matter. He used the example of Miss Robbie with the Sweetie Pies. Now, I don't watch the show, but I have heard of it, you know, what the show is. But what I did know about her history was that she used to be a backup singer with Argentina Turner. And something happened to her physically, I think, like, with her something up in here where she couldn't sing anymore and stuff. And she had to let that go. She ended up pursuing other areas. And, you know, nothing really worked out. And then she ended up going back to her roots and what she was passionate about and good at. And that was cooking. And she built a business around it. But a lot of the things that she learned in the industry with being a background singer and the other things that she did during that time helped her in her business still. So that's basically kind of the concept of where he was going with that one. But don't be afraid to reinvent yourself if the first thing that you did didn't work or you're not happy or it's not panning out or maybe, you know, it's a profession that's dying or whatever. Reinvent yourself and then shift. That's a part of life. Excuse your excuses. That's pretty straightforward. We always going to have an excuse about why we can't. I don't feel like it. I don't know. Maybe it ain't going to work. It could work, but it won't. Just excuse all of that. If it's a vision that God gave you to go forward with, then you absolutely cannot sit there and keep questioning it. Now, in my opinion, and this is me, I'm not coming from what I got in the book, but for me, if I don't know for sure that it's something that God told me to do, then yeah, that doubt will creep in and it will sit there for a minute because I'm like, okay, is this just me doing what I want to do or is this really what God told me to do? But if I know it was him, God stop the excuses. And I mean, I still do it, but I don't let them sit and fester as long, <laughs> you know. It's all in who you know. So, I mean, we, we know that. They network, you know, oftentimes the person that that knows somebody is the one that gets the opportunity better than somebody who's more equipped and qualified. We know that. So I don't, I don't have to elaborate that on that. No. And then he said grow during the process. And that basically, of course, it's just growth and development, but specifically like growing and keeping up with the vision so that you'll know what you need in each phase and how to make adjustments accordingly. So again, I thought that was good because a part of that growth for me also means continuing to stay connected to God for guidance along the way. He gave you the goal to start it, but you need to be connected through the processes because things may change depending on changes in the trends, changes in the flow of your customers, changes in the things of maybe something God told you to do that you didn't at the time, and now this just shifts everything. You just never know. So that's a part of the growth 
that comes with making sure that you can keep up with the changes that are coming as well as just staying connected to God through each step of the process. And so that's pretty much it. That's all I have for you as far as the book Soar is concerned. There is more in the book. Like I said, I did not completely finish all of it, but a lot of the latter part really gives you more detail about starting a business. So LLCs and corporations and you know, getting EIN numbers and setting up all of the kind of behind the scenes technical things that you really need to make sure it's done right before you start. So again, if you're not really trying to do that, it's good to have the information available and you know where to go find it. But it's not really vital just to be, you know, putting all of that in the video because everybody's not trying to do that. So but the information that's in the book is definitely thought provoking and definitely is helpful for anybody trying to advance themselves in any area. So the next book for March will be this book by Pastor John Gray, and it is called I Am Number Eight. And the subtitle is Overlooked, Undervalued, But Not Forgotten by God. This is a book that I bought a while ago that I had not finished reading. So I said that I would go pick it back up. And so far, it's amazing. So I'm looking forward to sharing with you guys as well my thoughts on that one for March. If you want to join me, and read the book with me, then I would definitely encourage you to pick it up. You know, Kindle, it's on Audible, it's on everywhere that you can find it. And then once I come talk about the book, then you'll know what's going on too. And you can share your opinion and your comments as well. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also make sure you share it with somebody that may be, you know, looking for information as far as books are concerned. Because again, this is a playlist that I'm going to continue and I'll come once a month with my review towards the end of each month. Also, check out some of the other content on the channel as well. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share this with friends. And you can follow me on social media. I am at I am Dr. K underscore Farm D on Instagram. And then the page for the channel is also Pieces of Me Love. And you can find it on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And until next time, I'll see you guys.